Come on, it's time to go to work. I know that intro was really weird, but it made more sense in my head, as a lot of things do. All right, let's talk about what we are going to be doing today, since we aren't going to be producing any uh, long-term videos or small TV series. Uh, we are going to be working on expressive faces. All right, so I'm going to share my screen right now. Bing, 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 bing. All right. Um, we did portraits last year, so we are building on top of that concept of portraits. And portraits really do serve two functions. They make a record of what somebody looks like um, so that long after they're dead, people will know. Um, in the past, it was usually an idealized version of that person. They did play to their vanities. And because the mirror was the only real way to look at yourself and then everything was reversed, people really did have a, a much better thought of what they look like in their head than they probably did in real life. Um, heck, I have a much better thought in my head of what I look like than what I usually do too, um, or what I usually do walking around. So that's not really uncommon for people. Uh, so not only do they capture, a, a portrait captures a bit of a person's personality, but it should tell something about the person and give a little hint into them as far as what they're like as a person. And back in the day when they would paint a painting, they would put things around them that would show how wealthy they are or uh, their status, you know, if they were a, a duke or a king or a queen. Um, generally in the past, only the really wealthy could afford paintings, which is also another reason the Mona Lisa is a little bit of an oddity. Um, she may have been somebody's, uh, somebody famous's Girlfriend, wife, lover, possibly even Leonardo in drag. There's so many different theories about this painting. But this really is not a painting of somebody of super high status. So it was kind of an oddity that she would have been painted anyway. Uh, she has a bit of a smile, a look to her eye that is questioning, curious. Um, like she has thoughts in her head that you would like to know. And this is what has captured everybody's interest in this as a painting over the years, no matter what the background or the true history of it is. Um, it appears that she's wondering, it appears that Slight's smile makes a viewer wonder what she's thinking. And that's why it's been successful as a painting. All right, as we move on to other ones, the invention of the camera made it possible to create portraits that showed emotion. When um, artists used to paint, that was rare, that's why the Mona Lisa is rare. People couldn't hold an angry expression for weeks on end till the uh, portrait artist got done. So people working from photos, you could capture that brief moment. Now, I don't know if any of you have um, on-demand TV, but try stopping or pausing it during a newscast. I don't think I've ever seen an attractive paused image of anybody because your face is constantly animated and it is constantly moving all right we have two paintings here both of them kind of chuckling one of them looking like uh-huh uh-huh i don't really believe you whatever it is that's coming out of your mouth or hey told you you would fall down hurt yourself and this one head cocked to the side kind of a uh almost a defiant look, really, um, or a curious look. You could read that several different ways. All right, not every image has to show somebody happy. This one looks like a very depressed little girl. And uh, emotions are what is interesting. They don't always have to be happy ones, just like paintings don't always have to be beautiful to attract your attention. You know, sometimes they can go the exact opposite. These are some expressions I absolutely love. 
you got your Samuel L. Jackson here on the left. These are scribble drawings. Um, this guy is really, really good because we pretty much have a decent idea who everybody is. And I, I wouldn't really have to tell you that, you know, there's Nick Fury and there's the guy from The Shining and one flew over to Cuckoo's Nest and the Witches of Eastwick and about 78 other movies down here. Two other ones. You got Will Smith being goofy. That's a really cool expression. You got Johnny Depp, not sure of the situation. That eyebrow is amazing on the right. Um, when you go to pick your images, because you're going to have to do three. You have to do three different expressions. And we are going to do these in pencil before our colors show up, because hopefully when our colors show up, we'll do a couple other small portraits and we'll work on color. But this, I really want to work on expression because there's not enough time in the day that we have to really focus on that. And this is an opportunity. As much as this pains me to be at home and pains me not to actually be with my students and have one-on-one -on -one conversations with you, this gives us the time and the chance to actually focus on things we don't normally get to focus on in class. So we're gonna do the expression thing. Now, you get to choose. Um, those of you who know me know I've had a crush on Mila Jovovich forever. And uh, it's not because she's beautiful. She is beautiful, but that's not the point. The reason I have this crush on her is she gives great expression. You know, whether it is this angry, snarly looking thing here, this curiosity here, this knowing glance here, this is the least interesting of every expression there, you know? And while this top corner one and lower corner one could be considered glamorous or beautiful, the one on the top is a better photo. And that's the kind of photos I want you guys looking for. The curious, the angry, the sad, the surprised, the playful. You know, this is your chance to actually do a portrait of somebody that you're interested in and capture their emotion. So, what you're going to do is you're going to find three images. Now, they can be from the internet on your Google. They can be on your phone if you want to take pictures of your friends and loved ones. Um, you could even do selfies as long as you're emoting different expressions. All right, so you could do three portraits of yourself in different expressions, which honestly would be really cool. Uh, and that's it. I'm going to have you guys start that. Um, they're going to be eight by 10, about that big. And I would think we could knock off three of them in about two weeks. So as long as you're not goofing around, you should be good. All right. If you have any questions um, and where you think of them outside of a Zoom meeting, feel free to email me, Tim Vallato, V-A-U-L-A-T-O, at u-46.org. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a good day.